Julia, aka The Mug Life. I'm really glad you stopped by my channel. Um, I'm a brand new channel, so just starting out having a lot of fun. And I was inspired by my girl, Sensation Finds. I love her. Um, she actually um, mentioned these blankets uh, a couple videos back, and I was like, oh my gosh, I love fleece. I've got to get those. And I already made these blankets for my sons. Um, a little mom tip if you have kids um, like mine who have ADHD and they have a really hard time sitting still in trouble, this is a really good sensory blanket to make because they can fidget and it helps them focus. So any child that might have a sensory issue, it's super soft, it's really nice, and it gives them a little something. So that's a bonus feature of these pillows that I make. Um, if you're brand new, like I said, I'm really glad you're here. Be sure to like, comment, and hit the little bell button. I would love to have you. Brand new channel, so I'm having fun, loving life, and just going along for the ride. So really glad to stop by and hope you see the two different options I show you. Thanks. And for this easy DIY, you might have seen uh, the fleece blankets at Dollar Tree, and you might have already seen the Dollar Tree DIY with people gluing them, but here is a little bit of a twist and something really fun you can do and adds a really nice decorative touch. The first thing that I started out doing is just placing my pillow over my two blankets. This pillowcase is going to be super easy to take off if I want to wash it or leave it on and spot wash as I need to. So I'm marking in six inches on both sides, making a square, and then cutting all four corners. Now, if you don't have a nice pair of fabric scissors, I would definitely recommend getting some. These I've had for a few years for cutting fabrics, but they still work very great and I love them. I bought these specifically at Joann's. And going right into the next step, it is just cutting along each of these little squares, which is about one, chin, one inch in, and just going all the way around on all four sides of the blanket. Now here's a tip for cutting fleece, if you didn't already know, you'll want to pull from the bottom as you're cutting, just makes it a lot easier to slide the scissors along. And I'm finished cutting all four sides, and you're going to make knots attaching the two sides of the blanket together. All right, you'll see that I have all three sides done and I just slip my pillow right on in, not doing the four side yet. I like to make sure all four of the corners are really good placed in there and then I begin to knot this last side. Now this last step that I am doing involves just knotting it again but you're going to do the knot closer towards the end. I'm only knotting two at a time just so you can kind of see this whole process. As you knot the two, you just loop it right under and then tuck in the little phrase. And you're going to keep looping the next one to the previous one over and over and over. And it almost forms a braiding look to the pillow. And you're going to do that on all four sides. What I typically do is sit in front of the TV, have it going, and I knot all the way around. Then after I am done knotting all four sides, that's when I begin to do the loop. But right here, I'm just showing it a little by little. And you just keep knotting one over the other, just tucking over and under, over and under. And I realized I didn't quite like the angle, so that's why I moved the pillow a little bit, just so you could see what I'm doing a little bit more closely. And I'm just tucking in the little extra fray right there. So I'm knotting and then tucking. Now I did say, that I was showing you two different options for this pillow. This is the first braided option. It is a little bit more complicated than the regular, but it's a really cute idea if you want a little bit more of a finished and polished look. Now, the other original, you wouldn't even have to do this braiding technique. You would just leave it as is. And I liked 
a little bit shorter so I cut the edges and frayed them. And I will give you a little bit of a mom tip. It has been amazing for me. I make these blankets for my two sons, both of whom have ADHD, and it is a perfect sensory type blanket to help them with their fidgeting. And that's it for my two options of the pillow. I probably will be doing two more of these just because I really love the finished look and I can use them all the way through Christmas. If you like this DIY or any of my others, be sure to hit the like button, comment, subscribe, and even add that little bell and see you next time.